so now I open up the tier list I prefer this one is already made you can look it up online on DeviantArt or somewhere and this is what I chose and we will explain why I put which transformation where and all these transformations are official anime exclusive so I didn't put any hero spawns because it would be really hard to scale and yeah I think uh, it will do fine let's start with legendary super saiyan why is this form at the top because and the anime is the best and the anime lore is also amazing when it comes to legendary super saiyan as established as that legendary form that how do should i put it that can't be so past it's a super saiyan at its most aggressive and i think broly did a good job in the broly movie in displaying what a saiyan a super saiyan is supposed to be and he, he's everything vegeta wanted to be and he wasn't uh, probably really challenged a lot of um saiyan uh, philosophy so to speak like how should we put it um you know super a uh, saiyan is uh, valued based on its strength so the strongest a saiyan the better treatments they get big saiyans will be sent to planets on with weak links like that happened with goku but um while goku was sent to a planet full of trash he was fortunate enough to get trained ball by martial artist masters he had a great life saved the world from threats got trained by gods and eventually reached the legendary form of super saiyan for the first time in the series meanwhile broly was born with too much power to the point it scared the shit out of king vegeta and what did King Vegeta do? He ordered Broly's execution. He didn't even send him somewhere else. He wanted Broly to be executed. And Broly survived. And even then, Broly was so dangerous because of um, how much power he has and because he is insanely sadistic and aggressive that Paragus had to make uh, ordered someone to make a device to brainwash him that's how dangerous Broly is he brought justice to Super Saiyan because until Broly's introduction Super Saiyan became a joke freaking robots that Goku uh, from an army Goku beat it as a kid before he was trained by, a gr by Kami the god of earth somehow they built a machine that can surpass a super saiyan with just saiyan saga data that's so embarrassing and probably brought a much needed respect to super saiyans and that's why i think legendary super saiyan ascends supreme and like the name says Super Saiyan and Broly personifies all the traits of a Saiyan but by a higher magnitude which is why it really works well also that's besides Broly's character I'm not going to discuss Broly as a character here but just his status as a Super Saiyan is really that impressive he was destroying a galaxy in his 
introduction. He, the galaxy was getting destroyed as the movie started. And that was before he went Super Saiyan, uh, legendary Super Saiyan, because if he went legendary Super Saiyan, Paragus' brain rushing device would be destroyed. So, immediately introduced as a very dangerous threat. No, the next one. Next one in C tier is obviously Super Saiyan 4, the best Super Saiyan form so far introduced. And the reason I think you know, because everything Super Saiyan represents. First, the design. It's a complement of what a Saiyan, what Saiyans are. Saiyans are pretty much mon they are monkeys. They they have a monkey tail, but they are humans, and they are battle hungry warriors. They are wa like wild animals. They can turn into giant monkeys when they look into the moon. They are pretty much ancient Saiyans. And basically what you would have expected a uh, Super Saiyan to look like. And Goku reaching that form was also a real spectacle. Um, and to understand that it Goku didn't know what a Saiyan is. He from his viewpoint he was just a human. But he was obviously uh, at night when the moon uh, full moon was around he would turn into an aggressive giant monkey he can't control and he destroyed his grandpa in that form. And to reach Super Saiyan 4 you need to ma not only master that form, you also need Super Saiyan <coughs> Goku overcame the form, a powered up version of the form that pretty much he killed his grandpa in. And so there are so many things that make Super Saiyan 4 such a great form. In, in terms of floor, in terms of character progression and uh, so to speak character development it brought Goku full circle with his Saiyan heritage in an arc where the enemy is someone who hates Saiyan and Goku uh, reaches that form represents him accepting his Saiyan heritage completely and now we g go to A rank and uh, Super Saiyan also represents Goku accepting his Saiyan heritage pretty much because <coughs> Freezer destroyed his um, his race and then put his hands on his best friend in front of his eyes Freezer was fearing the Super Saiyan the form was built up really well throughout the arc and Goku was really pushed up to his edge and after turning Super Saiyan he acted like a Saiyan he was hungry for battle he didn't care about uh, he didn't stop making uh, logical decisions he was so um, focused on humiliating Freezer that he let him power up to his strongness and even take a little beating before completely humiliating him. That is Goku's Super Saiyan power. And the other good great thing about Super Saiyan was it felt like a form that came in the darkest hours when you are have your darkest hour and pretty much was a form that helped Goku to overcome um, the biggest hardship in his life because Freezer was um, Freezer was just 
almost unkillable for Goku. Uh, Goku couldn't take advantage of Freezer's lack of key sensing because that didn't help. Uh, Goku used various techniques, like he went beyond his limits and went Kaioken times 20 Kamimiha. That didn't help. The technique, uh, the unity of um, everyone's hope, the spirit bomb or Benkidama, that didn't work. So Goku had to accept his Saiyanness in order to defeat Frieza pretty much by becoming a Super Saiyan. Well, sadly, their form has been devalued by pretty much everybody. Like, every, almost every character Saiyan introduced after and that is alive managed to turn into a Super Saiyan. And there are Cell Sagas. By the Cell Saga, we had already four Super Saiyans. I think the downfall of Super Saiyan started when Trunks was introduced. I think uh, if Dragon Ball ended with the Freezer Saga, yeah, it would have been the best thing to happen. Also, Super Saiyan has pretty much no disadvantage, it's just an overpowered uh, form that will be surpassed by other overpowered form, so it's pretty much obsolete. Well, Super Saiyan 4 was also really overpowered, we will talk about it later, since Goku can adapt. Uh, he is like a saint from Saint Seiya, a moveset he experienced won't work on him again. So, Super Saiyan 4 is broken. Here is the form also lets you turn into your physical uh, prime. As Goku looked age-wise similar to how he looked in Z, instead of just being an adult, uh, he didn't have a tan. Uh, GT Vegeta turned younger, looked similar to his uh, Z counterpart too. So there's that. Um, next up is Super Saiyan Great 4 or Super Saiyan Full Power. This is basically Super Saiyan completely mastered, so it feels like your base form. In other words, Goku can use it like his base form, so lower his power level maybe to f 5 or something, and keep the remaining energy as a reserve talk about perfect key control. This is pretty much excellent key control, you don't need any better. And Goku uh, training with Gohan realized that training is the Super Saiyan form instead of training your base form or trying to surpass it is more efficient and they made insane l and large uh, progress which is why um, despite having Vegeta having grade 2 and Trunks having grade 3 and even training for one year longer they couldn't surpass Goku and Gohan <laughs> Goku and Gohan were able to swap hands with Cell despite having inferior forms to speak the name grade 4 is not because it's not a transformation, it's just a uh, state terms in, so to speak. Like, it's not a power up, it's just Goku being able to use Super Saiyan more efficiently. Uh, these two are pretty much the same thing, just less of this one's stamina issues, and Goku no longer is driven by his. Uh, Saiyanness or anger, so to say. Like when Goku turns Super Saiyan, he is really aggressive in his fighting style. And after mastering it, that part is pretty much gone. Um, GT's counterpart to that is the Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4, which is pretty much a super uh, pre drained Super Saiyan 4, absorbing the energy of a few Saiyans to his own and amplify it and somehow Goku grows even stronger. The reason I put it to A instead of C is 
that's not really special, but it's still a Super Saiyan 4, so putting it below A would be a disappointment. Goku really get Super Saiyan 4 is pretty broken in terms of abilities adapt, absorb energy and amplify your power further. Jeez, uh, nerf this from toy. <coughs> uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes did something similar and by absorbing some god key, uh, a new version Limit Breaker was introduced. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker. Uh, if this was on the list, I would probably not put it a little lot lower. But yeah, I I honestly don't really want to consider this a separate form. It you can do this with pretty much anything. Goku could stay in base form, absorb everyone's energy as it wouldn't be called a new form. You can do that with pretty much any character. I don't know why it's special for Super Saiyan 4. But yeah, since what that's what it's called I thought I will rank it so it's pretty much not even really how um, a grade 4 works so yeah and um, don't get it twisted and um, these aren't uh, positioned by which I like better or anything they are all equal pretty much. I would even say Super Saiyan 3 is the uh, least impressive one. And I am going to start with the Uzagu because it's pretty much defining what the Saiyan is. Like, I don't know why the Uzagu needed to be introduced. Guess it was just a reason so. Uh, Yamcha and Ko can escape from Pilaf's castle before they are turned into crispy chicken nuggets. And this is the form Goku killed his grandpa in. It's uncontrollable. Uh, 10 times boost is big, but not big anymore. It was a good form because uh, Saiyans didn't really need that. Um, it wouldn't be a form we would see uh, much in action. It was a good form to give an antagonist, which is why it was so pretty much well done. The Saiyan Saga really did use the Uza really well. And I think the Uza is also one of the most balanced forms. It doesn't overshadow uh, a Saiyan who doesn't transform because it has two weak points, you can destroy the moon, it transforms back, or you cut the tail, it transforms back. Same goes for the golden Uzaru, which is just Uzaru using the power of a Super Saiyan. Uh, it's not clear what the boost is, but I think uh, the golden Uzaru is a victim by design. It's, n it's the reason why I don't complain it as a as a recall or transformation is because well it makes sense to be just a golden recolor of Uzaru because what would you change about it transforming it's like if Vegeta transforms into a Super Saiyan his hair doesn't change anything but its color yeah you can see it below but this is not Super Saiyan Vegeta this is a different form so the Uzaus are fine and the antagonist can control it, Goku can't, which is why he isn't using it in tournaments. And eventually he surpassed it as Super Saiyan 4. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 had a great build up. Uh, well it had no build up but um it wasn't surprising that Goku can transform had a new form because he was training in the other world it was a form and um, pretty much exclusive and um, 
platforms the other build and normally you wouldn't be able to reach it unless you have insane potential like uh, go tanks which is a fusion of two half saiyans and while I don't like go tanks being able to turn super saiyan 3 it is reasonable that he can do it the, since especially in the enemy Goten and Trunks have seen Super Saiyan 3 each twice and Goku explained it enough for them to reach that level and even then it's just a temporary power boost. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 had decent weaknesses, I wish uh, it, it's a double edged sword but still a form I wouldn't put uh, A rank because it's another power up for the Saiyans. Saiyans don't need more power ups and it doesn't look much of a, like a Saiyan like it's not as amazing as Super Saiyan 4 um, in terms of designs it's still a progression of Super Saiyan it keeps the golden hair it uh, has intense Super Saiyan aura like in terms of design it's fine um, while we added uh, Super Saiyan 2 is a nice in between with uh, Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 3. As the reason I put Super Saiyan 2 into C rank is because it doesn't have any immediate uh, disadvantages to see. If it was a form exclusive to Gohan, only a half Saiyan could reach it, I would be more fine. But both Goku and Vegeta reach it off screen so there's that and it was it's pretty much super saiyan with just lightning around and with just more power gohan becomes pretty much goku from the Namek style really sadistic and battle hungry which mistake he will do again it doesn't have any apparent weaknesses, which just makes Super Saiyan obsolete if he just trained it, like his base form. But Gohan being Gohan is unable to turn without wasting all of his stamina, which is why he didn't do it. And the bootstock. And the contrary, you have Grade 2. Grade 2 is mediocre it had only one fight it lost but it had some interesting showings it was a good way to demonstrate in what directions Saiyans could go by trying to surpass Super Saiyan and I think it was meant to suck and there's another form which is even worse to really head home the yeah these uh, these forms propose is to suck is in order to make it look like that re uh, surpassing Super Saiyan isn't as simple as it may appear. Let's go to D rank a movie exclusive lots like Super Saiyan a uh, fault Super Saiyan. Pseudo Super Saiyan, whichever you prefer, is the reason why it's D rank is because it has no real um, staying power. It pretty much came out of random, but in terms of asset power up, I think it's mediocre. It's not awful because as long we. Goku is angry, he can stay in that form, once the anger is gone, so is the form. Like, it's a situational, so Goku can keep just powering up and beat everyone. Uh, that kind of form it is. I really prefer characters fighting in the natural stages instead of keep transforming. Because you, as they don't transform, you know. The fights are never serious. 
uh, A rank is Super Saiyan grade uh, 3 it's Super Saiyan grade 2 but significantly worse this is a form to show you that just transforming isn't enough to surpass Super Saiyan and it was a mistake just taking any random power up you can just achieve and assume you can beat your enemy and why was it even a four? <sighs> it's just uh, buffing your muscles it's not a transformation to be honest uh, that's why I don't like it but it did its job in hitting home that yeah better master your super saiyan and send ascent instead just randomly ascending uh, and while we are at it Dragon Ball Super ruined it they didn't get the memo they just gave Cauliflower Super Saiyan 2 at random and then she archived grade 3 for no reason uh, this is such awful writing she she shouldn't even have Super Saiyan she should not exist she should be exclusive to fan fiction where she belongs and I just realized I forgot to add music so next time I hopefully don't forget adding the music to this discussion so uh, next up is oh, F tier the most disgusting of all forms, all these forms are worse each is worse, one is worse than the other would be eh, what I say by say I they are so crazy I don't know where to start no, maybe let's go chronological Super Saiyan God a free power up, you just hold your hands and with pure hearted sails and then you get a free power swap power up it doesn't even look like a Super Saiyan, it's just a Saiyan space form with a purple hair, a pink hair, which looks red when they are covered in fiery aura. It doesn't even have the Super Saiyan aura. Goku also gets slightly slimmer and lost every fight it participated. Goku couldn't even beat two amateur Super Saiyan 2s in that form it got his ass handed by a ba base form Kefla that's so humiliating and another thing is Goku also got humiliated by Broly in his rough state so much for that godly form the peak of all saints guys uh, really overhyped Super Saiyan God it's one of the worst transformation it's unoriginal oh God form Goku surpassed God since he was a kid and now he by giving him this form they regressed him now needing God powers and he can still not defeat gods back when he was a kid without even transforming with just regular he, he was surpassing several gods, King Kai included. And then there's the Kaioshin, who shed his pants when Vegeta beat up a uh, killed Ku Pui Pui. That's so embarrassing. You want to tell me this form was needed? This sh piece of shit of a form. And then they over pow uh, power crap it with Super Saiyan Blue just uh, another palette swap of this time of an actual Super Saiyan form and its official name is Super Saiyan Blue a uh, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan this <laughs> I wish can you think about it this is such a joke a complete joke of a form it's the official name Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan is the official name of this form. And the same goes for Super Saiyan Rosé. It's 
completely unimpressive. Evil Goku was already kicking ass of a Super Saiyan Blue. And then he transformed and later never really did anything that made him look like he powered up any significantly. Also it's pink, it looks kinda cringy, kinda gay. Maybe you are, if you like that, that's your type of transformation. Nothing against it. Just these two palette swaps of each other and Super Saiyan an actual good form like you can do that once but if you keep repeating palette swapping your forms then you know <laughs> you have no creativity where did we go from the days we reached super saiyan 3 and super saiyan 4 and now we are back to palette swaps like uh, super vegeta super saiyan grade 3 this is the palette swap of that. You have Super Saiyan 2 with in between blue aura. Oh, well, we are uh, it, it. This form is not even a god form, and it's far stronger than these, th uh, much stronger of a power up than these three forms. Trunks really. <laughs> this, this is just so stupid. Trunks in this. A Super Saiyan Rage bullshit form, which he got because he was angry. Who really original? That somehow just getting angry allowed him to surpass all these god forms, which Vegeta and Goku and Gohan got this angry. Maybe they could have beat Majin Buu actually. <laughs> and now in this very situa situation. Even the naming is just stupid. Super Saiyan is archived through anger. So what is a Super Saiyan Rage supposed to be? It's like apple juice with apple juice uh, with apple flavor. Uh, duh. Obviously. Uh, it's like some pimp my right shit. I heard you like Super Saiyan. So uh, Rage in your Super uh, Super Saiyan, so I put Super Saiyan your Super Saiyan. That's so uh, this is so retarded. And all these forms, these two, these forms were surpassed by known godly characters. Golden Freezer was stronger than um, Super Saiyan Blue, Kefler, and. Uh, Broly was su stronger than Super Saiyan uh, God and if it wasn't for teaming up with Samus uh, even pink Super Saiyan evil Goku would lose to Rage Goku to Trunks in fact that happened because then uh, a spirit bomb created itself fused with Trunks' sword and they destroyed the fusion of the, t the two Zamas. And last but not least is the most ugly Super Saiyan form so far and that is uh, Super Saiyan uh, Blue Evolution or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Blue Evolution uh, Evolution without the blue and the color scheme of that form is so cringe and it's just a palette swap of um, Super Vegeta and how did Vegeta, Vegeta obtain it? Oh, uh, he sort of Kaba he sort of Kaba of all people and then he transformed it. his this is so cringe is this nobody he had no relationship with um, was enough for him to reach a new form and that form did nothing he knocked out top but he could have defeated top with actual strategy that guy wasn't even he got a um, a random god power power up too randomly at the tournament that was some of the worst shit I have ever seen. These forms 
are total garbage. I don't understand how any same person can like these. Unless they are people that write fan fiction and are so under creative they make their own same forms by just palette swapping existing ones. Like I have seen plenty of blue haired Super Saiyan Gokus on Deviant Art back in the day. So this is nothing new for me. And with this this is the tier list. Uh, let's Honestly this should be the super tier list because these are tr super trash, super garbage. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this tier list. I may do another one. And we will see each other next time. Goodbye.